What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new topic which we haven't covered before, which is self-improvement for guys. Um, if you're a female, don't worry, you can take some of the notes down and try to apply it to your lives as well. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The first tip, which I believe is the most important in order to take control of your life, um, you need to make sure that you have clear set goals. Um, so this would involve having clear set goals in terms of your career, your relationships with people, your fitness and health journey, all these type of things. Make sure that you have this in, for example, a journal or a log to help you keep you more accountable for when you feel like you're sidetracking um, and you feel like you're a bit stagnant in your journey. Um, just keep going back to this so you can be more encouraged and feel more confident in going and setting out and completing what you want to do. Um, and there's a way of structuring this which is called SMART, meaning specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. So if you put this into your journal and have all the things listed that you want to do, it will help you again to keep more accountable and focus on what you want. And my second tip would be, in order to be the best version of yourself, you definitely need to start incorporating um, a healthy um, lifestyle. So both your diet and your fitness journey, helping you to stay healthy and fit. And most importantly, in that aspect, having um, a sufficient amount of sleep, making sure you get at least eight hours so that you feel energized every day and that you're not sluggish throughout the day and um, overall having a negative mood and an impact on other people around you. So tip number three, I would say embracing new challenges because in this life, we sometimes live in a more comfortable setting where we don't really want to push ourselves before um, as much as we would like to. So making sure that you're doing things to challenge yourself, whether it's going out on a run every day, taking a cold shower for five to 10 minutes, do something which you wouldn't do normally and see how you grow in your mindset um, over time. And now tip number three, it would be for me saying for you to guys to start doing more things which are in, which bring you more skills. For example, learning an instrument, you could be learning the drums, the guitar, doing um, reading more, doing art, anything that makes you more creative um, and helps you to learn something new will not only make you more happy with yourself, but also give you more uh, a new skill so that you can apply it to other sectors in your life. Um, and so tip number four I would say for you guys is to work on your confidence now this can be as simple as standing upright making sure that your chest is out and um, it can have a dramatic effect on your confidence levels um, and also going out and talking to people who you don't usually talk to will help to give you more of a confident demeanor and make you feel more um, self your self-esteem rise essentially um, and again linking to that building relationships with other people and going outside because especially after COVID times people have limited their um, outside time and social time and um, even if it means going to a coffee shop and spending some time with your friends that's something that will help you in the long run and don't be afraid to um, communicate with people if you need that sort of support especially after the lockdown it's had an effect on a lot of people's mental health and well-being um, and my next tip would be yeah in terms of time management using your time wisely not only having a journal but making sure that your calendar is having all of the appointments dates everything that you need to have in there so that you don't forget where you're supposed to be at a certain time in the week and having things clamor up and not feeling like you're securing your schedule make sure that you have things jotted down so that you're more at peace knowing that you're at the right place at the right time um, and also another important tip I would say is don't be afraid to fail because especially in this generation, people feel that they'll be judged if they mess up. But throughout history, if everyone had that scarcity mindset, no one would want to pursue anything. No one would want to, no one would want to try. And most of the things, the inventions, the things people have succeeded, we wouldn't have and we would have no one to look up to. So you just have to see yourself imagining and picturing yourself in that circumstance or in that uh, that place that you want to see yourself and keep driving for that um but yeah that those are the tips i have i hope that you've benefited from what i've had to say and that you're able to apply it to your life now don't worry if you're not seeing results straight away 
it's a journey so you're obviously gonna build up over time the the skills and the mindset and the courage that you definitely achieve if you keep this consistently um, but stay tuned i hope you do well in your journey and keep pushing yourself over time and um, i'll be back again with another video so stay blessed god bless and have enjoy the rest of your day